back to a new vlog. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Blake. So happy to have you here. Today is a Tuesday. Um, we are going to AAA right now because we have to get international driving permits for France. We're going to France very soon. And we don't know if we're gonna rent a car or not, so we need to get them just in case. But I've also heard people say that um, you should carry one around because your um, like US ID does not count as a valid form of ID there and you don't wanna carry your passport around all the time. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I have to go to Seaport. I don't know if I can like chat about this yet. I have a fun event coming up. I will let you guys know the second that I know that I can talk about it. I should be able to tell you guys about it soon, but I'm doing a fun event later this spring with one of my favorite brands, and basically I'm just going to meet them today and um, go over a few things for the event. So, gotta do that, and then I'm just gonna come back and work for the rest of the day. So, that's what the day looks like. It is very nice and sunny out today. I just made a matcha in my cute little bee cup. And then look at these straws I got. They have little flowers on them. It's so fitting for this cute bee cup. The matcha I used, I think the brand is Peak. I think that's what it is. I just got it recently and it's really good. It comes in like the little single serve packets, which I love because it's perfect to travel with, but I wanted to try it, so. It's very good. Wait, also, can someone tell me why my tulips look like this? Did I get these yesterday? Two days ago. I got these two days ago. They're like growing like crazy. They keep getting longer and longer. And they, it's giving like Medusa hair. Like they're sticking straight out. I just trimmed them and added cold water, new water. But like, are they supposed to look like this? I feel like they look so crazy and they won't stop growing. I have to keep trimming them. I just like can't tell if they're supposed to look like that or if they're just dying quickly. Hopefully not. We got our little international permits. I have like an hour to kill until I have to meet with that brand that I'm meeting with. So I think I'm gonna go to La Colombe and just work there for a little. I might also pop into Sephora because I think the sale started today. some goodies from Sephora. I just got back home. I'm gonna show you what I got and then make some lunch and sit down and work for the rest of the day. The sun kind of went away and it's a little gloomy now, which honestly was much needed because it's very hard for me to work when it's sunny. When the sun's coming in, it looks beautiful out, but I have a lot of stuff I have to get done. Um, so I'm glad it's a little gloomy now because it feels like, it feels less enticing for me to be outside. Okay. I went to Lululemon. This is my favorite underwear. I have like 20 pairs of these in just the plain black color. I love them. They're so comfortable. They're the under ease. They have another one similar to this. That's like the real seamless one. I don't like those at all. I think they roll around. I like hate them, honestly. I think they're terrible. But these are really good. These are their underies. They have like slight seams. So if you really want like full seamless, I don't know. I don't really think I have like a full seamless recommendation. I'll need to look into some. I've heard the Skims ones are really good. These ones are like pretty much perfect. I wear these under like most dresses and they're totally fine. Uh, and I love these. And I just got a couple more. I needed some lighter ones. And this is like the best I could find. I found a lilac color, a cream, and then a brown. So. Needed some more of those because I have some like white dresses that I uh, have for France and the, the black underwear underneath is just not, not doing it. I meant to only get one thing from the Sephora sale, the Pillow Talk liner. It is my favorite. It's like the perfect, it's like my lips but better kind of shade for me personally. I do like the medium one as well. When I actually get really tan, like the peak of summer, I usually get the Pillow Talk medium because the regular Pillow Talk just 
sort of doesn't even really show up. It's just like not enough. But right now, my current untanned skin, this is perfect. And then I also got the color Super Size Me. I'm excited to try that. I needed a new eyelash curler because the one I have I've had for years and it's falling apart. This is a little retractable face brush. I hate traveling with brushes. Like I guess eyeshadow brushes I don't mind as much, but I don't have a case to put them in. So I just throw them in my makeup bag and just like having my the brush that I put my, my powder on with just like floating around my bag just feels really gross and germy to me and I don't like it. So I got this for traveling. Sharpener for my lip liner because I use a pencil sharpener, like a regular pencil sharpener. It's like bright blue. I don't, I've had it for so long. Like I really think it's from school. <laughs> this is the Tower 28 SOS spray. It has, I think it's hypochlorous acid. Yeah, it's a hypochlorous acid spray. <sighs> Fact check me on this, but I believe hypochlorous acid is what your skin releases when it's trying to heal your skin. Any, I need to look it up. This says hypochlorous acid exists in your body already. It's created by white blood cells as a defense system against infection, bacteria, and general sickness. So it's just something that's already in your body and trying to heal things that might be happening, like things that are going on in your skin anyway. Someone at Credo told me about this like months ago and I got it originally to try on my face. Didn't do anything for my skin, but my hands are fine right now. But in the winter, if it's really dry, I tend to get like a little bit of eczema on the back of my hands. And this is so good for it. And also I will spray this on my bikini line because I have very sensitive skin. I am super prone to razor burn. This helps. I'm telling you, you just, anywhere that you feel like your skin gets a little irritated, just spray a little bit of this on daily. I'm just gonna go work for the rest of the day and I will see you guys later. I just broke a nail. I'm having myself a little pamper session right now. As you can see, <laughs> I'm trying out this mask for the first time. This is the Primally Pure Soothing Mask. I love the smell of it. The first ingredient in it is raw honey. I love masks that have a bold color like this because it really makes me feel like I'm at a spa. It feels very serious. <laughs> it's nine o'clock right now. I just finished filing my taxes. <laughs> I still have to make dinner and then I have to prep for a morning club Zoom session that I have tomorrow at 8 a.m. I haven't started prepping for it yet. I do them once a month and there's a different theme every month and tomorrow's theme is developing and maintaining healthy relationships. So I usually spend like an hour, hour and a half prepping for that. So I need to do that tonight. And I just was feeling very tired and I wanted to give myself a little pamper sesh before I continue working until like 11 or something. So that is what I'm doing. I really like this brand so far. I came across them maybe like two months ago first thing I tried from them was one of their deodorants. This is it. She's amazing. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like I've tried every single natural deodorant ever. <laughs> I've tried so many of them. This one actually works. You only need a little bit of this. I just put it on in the morning and I swear it is the only natural deodorant that I've tried that actually works for me and like keeps you smelling nice and fresh all day and doesn't stain my clothes because that drove me insane about every other natural deodorant I tried. This is like what got me knowing about this brand because I hadn't heard of them before. I also have some of their lip balms that I love and then their dry brush, which I also love. I always kind of thought dry brushing was a little gimmicky and then it wouldn't actually do anything, but I deal with bad circulation. So my feet are always freezing, my hands are always freezing. I heard that that is one of the benefits of dry brushing. So. I hopped on that train and I love it. Here it is. I have all the products lined up to talk to you about. Um, it's just this round dry brush. You've probably heard of these, but I just use this a few times a week before I shower. I love it. I just do it in like circular motions and I start at my ankles and work up and it's supposed to help with exfoliation too and overall skin 
appearance and texture. So those are the products that got me like knowing about this brand and they were so nice and sent me a few more to try. And they are actually sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much, Primally Pure, for sponsoring this. I love working with brands that I truly stand behind and love myself and would share with you guys anyway. I feel like maybe I've already talked about that charcoal deodorant on here, but I'm really excited to be working with them because I've loved all the products I've tried and I just tried this face mask and I love this too. So I just wanted to tell you guys about it. I believe it was started by, I think her name's Bethany. Her family owns a farm, an organic farm, and she started learning about like how she was eating all these organic foods and not putting toxins in her body. And she wanted to incorporate that same principle into the product she was putting on her body. So she got rid of all of her like toxic skincare and body care products and she started making her own and sourcing ingredients as much as possible from her family's local farms. So I think the story is pretty cool and I just love learning about and supporting natural, non-toxic, simple brands, which this is. So I'm gonna smell this deodorant because this I'm very excited about. This is their vanilla citrus. This smells like a dessert. It smells like a lemon swear. I wish I could eat it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I'm excited to try this one and try more of the deodorants that they have because all the other scents looked really good too. And then their oil, I'm gonna try this right now because my skin gets very dry in the winter and I know it's not winter anymore, but I feel like in the spring, my skin takes a while to just like regain moisture. Wow, this feels amazing. This is their Jasmine body oil. Can you see the shine? This one looks gross. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My skin is like super glowy. So I'm feeling very pampered for the night for my, my um, next couple hours of work. I feel like I've decompressed. <laughs> I'm going to go get back to work now. Those are some of my favorite products from Primally Pure and then some new ones that I got to try, which I'm so grateful for. So again, thank you Primally Pure for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to try any of their products for yourself, I do have a discount code with them that they gave me to share with you and I will put it on the screen. And yeah, I'm going to go get back to work and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my gosh. Love seeing your face. How's I'm such a camera on girly, but also I like got ready for this. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Welcome, you guys. Welcome to Morning Club. If you haven't been on here before, there's new sessions every day. Today, my theme is developing and maintaining healthy relationships. Grab something to write with journal, a pen, you can write on your phone, you can write on the notes app on your computer, whatever is easiest for you. I want your first prompt to be, what does a healthy relationship look like to you? How do you want to feel in your relationships? What are your non-negotiables in your relationships? Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm just getting a little work done right now, doing some editing. How cute is this water bottle? I'm obsessed with the color of it. It's so nice out today. I don't see a single cloud in the sky. It's sunny. I really want to go on a walk, but I have a package being delivered from UPS and it needs a signature. So I don't dare leave because my luck, they're going to get here when I'm gone. So I have a lot of different errands I have to run today, but I'm just going to have to wait until later. Hopefully the package gets delivered soon. I ordered a new phone because I swear every year when they come out with a new iPhone, the software updates just like make the old ones not work. <laughs> I feel like everyone says that, but specifically the camera. I feel like this camera is just not as high quality as it used to be or it should be for a 13, an iPhone 13. So I ordered a new one. <laughs> Again, I feel like I get a new one all the time. It's probably a waste of money, but I just need a good camera on it for filming. So I'm just sitting here. I'm literally sitting at the window so I can wait until UPS arrives. It was supposed to arrive yesterday and I, I think it was like 2 p.m. I saw the UPS truck on my street and I was like, perfect. They'll be here soon. Hours went by and then I got a notification at like 6 30 saying they attempted the delivery but no one was home and I was like, you're kidding. I was home. They just never buzzed me or anything. 
and then said that I was like, what do they consider as an attempt? Because there was no attempt. <laughs> I called last night and I like gave, I spoke to customer service and I gave them my door buzzer code so that they could definitely buzz me when they're here. And I got a call this morning and they were like, the person you spoke with last night when they changed, when they added the buzzer code, they changed your address as well to like an old address I had on file. So now <laughs> the phone is being like, sent to the wrong place. I was like, oh my goodness. Um, I paid for it to be here yesterday. So I was a little bit bummed. I'm like, as long as it gets here today, all is well. So I get a call from like another customer service person and they're like, hi, we've like sent a report to UPS and they're going to call you. We've also reached out to like the UPS location that we're hoping to transfer it to now to get it to you. And I'm like, I've been speaking with like a hundred different people and everyone's telling me different things. And I'm like, I don't care what happens. I just want the phone. Um, so this woman calls me and she was the <laughs> rudest woman I've ever spoken with in my life. I was shocked. She like asked, first of all, she calls and she's like, hi, you have a package being delivered? Like, what do you need to talk about? And I was like, Wait, you called me. So I like explained the whole situation to her because I'm thinking that's what she wants to know. And she goes, I don't care about yesterday. Um, I'm trying to resolve what's happening with the package today. And I was like, <laughs> you asked me. So I refuse to leave this spot because I need, I need to see with my own eyeballs when UPS arrives. My little vent of the day, it's not a huge deal. It's literally a package. It's a phone, like the things could be worse, who cares? But yeah, hopefully it arrives today, so. I'm on guard waiting. <laughs> Ooh, there's some sirens. Sound of Boston. <laughs> I hate seeing ambulances. It always makes me so scared. I always like hope that the person's okay. It, like it gives me anxiety see, hearing sirens. I'm always nervous that someone's hurt. Alrighty. I'm gonna get back to work. I just got some groceries delivered and I just saw a UPS truck go by, zoom by, and my heart just <laughs> stopped for a second. But it must be on a different truck because it has to be. It has to be. I didn't get a ton of things. Probably like half the size, half the amount that I normally do. I am really in the mood for pasta, like craving pasta. And for some reason, I thought this was like a huge jar when I ordered it online. Um, this is vegan tomato pesto and it looks delicious. So I'm so in the mood for just like a pasta with this and some like veggie, whatever this is, like an alternative to ground meat, I guess. But I don't know, I'm craving it. So I got those and then I'm gonna do like veggie rice noodle tofu bowls. So I got some cabbage. I love cabbage. Some bell peppers. I'm going to chop them up really small. And then I got mangoes and avocado. I'm going to chop all that up really small and put it with tofu, cabbage, rice noodles, some lime juice, said tofu, almond milk, my favorite one from Malk. It only has four ingredients. This is the vanilla flavor. Um, some yogurts. I usually get the Kite Hill Dairy Free Greek yogurt just because it has a lot of protein in it, but these are so good. This is the Coco June, just the original coconut and then the strawberry rhubarb. They have really good flavors. Some rice noodles. <laughs> I thought these were so cute. I got brown rice gluten-free pasta and these are a 1000% for toddlers, but they're farm shapes. <laughs> I thought they were so cute. There's like pigs and tractors and chickens. Maybe roosters. Roosters. Do you see the little rooster? I couldn't pass it up. Judge me if you want to. I'd probably judge myself too. Some avocados, mangoes, and some limes. And that's it. It's here. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, my nails are atrocious right now. The big reveal. It looks exactly the same as the one I have now. <laughs> I'm not going to set it up right now because I feel like it's going to take a while and I have errands to run that I now I'm going to go run because I can leave my apartment now. I'm going to go on a walk because it's so nice out. I have to run to Credo 
because I have a bunch of empties. They have a recycle program there, and if you have an account at Credo, you get points on your account for all of the empties that you recycle. So I'm gonna go drop those off. I have like six or seven bottles that I've been accumulating since I finished products, and I have to return something at Credo. I have to go to Blue Mercury, and I really just want an excuse to go on a walk. So, oh, I also have to go to Verizon because I have to get um, a screen protector for this because I don't trust myself. And I have to get little camera protectors, the guy told me. Basically, like the little cameras on the back, the 14, they just like protrude a lot more than the previous models. And he was telling me that unless I have a super thick case, um, when I put the phone down on the table or something, the cameras will be touching whatever I put the phone on and they'll get scratched up. So I guess they have little like camera protectors that I can get. So I'm gonna get some of those. And yeah, what time is it? It's 3.45. I'm gonna go walk around for a bit, enjoy the sun, and then just come back and work tonight. degrees so it's hot I have to wait usually really 30 minutes and then after that totally forgot about it happy Friday it is another beautiful sunny day I've just been getting some work done this morning I have my new phone set up which is very exciting except I can't fit my cases on it I really thought that the 13 because aren't like the pro maxes are typically like the same size um, even when they upgrade models, but the 14 is a little thicker. I was reading something online too. I think it might be like slightly taller, but also a little more narrow. I don't know. Like there's slightly, um, there's slight size differences. And then the camera, like the little box that the cameras are on is way bigger. So I like can't fit my cases on it. So this is risky. I'm also wearing all white today, which is bold of me because I'm on my period. So I'm really living life on the edge today. Whenever I have to film things for brands I work with, it puts me in the best mood when I wake up and it's sunny because having to like film when it's gloomy, it just doesn't come out as good. It just doesn't come out as good. So I'm in a great mood because I'm excited to film today because it's so nice. Here's what I'm wearing. I just got these jeans from Abercrombie. I'm on like an Abercrombie jean kick. I ordered, I think I already have two pairs for them that I've got within like the last month. And then I just got these. They're the exact same thing. They're the 90s straight ultra high rise curve love, but they're the white, maybe a little bit of off white. And then they have a little leather section up top. And I just think they're so cute. I size down one size of these as well. I'm, I'm typically like a true 25, uh, but I have all my Abercrombie jeans in 24 because I just find they run a little bigger than all my other jeans. And the little like leather at the top makes it, I feel like a little stretchier than most jeans, which is nice. And then this top is from Revolve. It's linked in my Revolve favorites if anyone is curious, but I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna get back to work, but I just wanted to start the vlog for the day and say I hope you're having a good day whenever you're watching this. It's so nice today and I'm just in a great mood, so. This is the best drink ever. I drink these all the time. I give so much of my money to this brand. They're so good. If you haven't tried these, they're delish. It's a little bit later now, it's 2.45. I 
I'm making some lunch right now. I just made some tofu back there. I get the extra firm tofu from Trader Joe's. I feel like the type of tofu you get is key in how it comes out in the end. Like it has to be extra firm for me because I feel like it just isn't, there's too much liquid in it if it's not. And this one is very dense, so there's not a ton of liquid in it, so it's I press it for like three seconds and then it's good to go. I chop it up and then I toss it in olive oil, sometimes rice vinegar, sometimes not. I did it this time, but depends on how I'm feeling. Coconut aminos, salt, pepper, garlic, Old Bay, and cornstarch to make it crispy, and I think that's it. I've been drinking it all day. Normally I finish this in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I love these, but I have somehow managed to make this last all day. The brand is Gold Thread. Plant-based tonics this is their turmeric radiance. I love turmeric anything, so love that. So I just made the tofu. I am making, I'm boiling some water right now to make rice noodles. These are the ones I got, they're pho rice noodles. I just like picked a random, I ordered my groceries online from Whole Foods and had them delivered. So I just kind of clicked rice noodles. I didn't look specifically at what they were. I'm gonna add those and the tofu to a bowl and then some cabbage, some carrot, and then I chopped up some red bell pepper and mango. And then I'm gonna chop up some avocado and add it to that little mixture and put it all together in a bowl. So that's what I'm making. I just got this dress yesterday. I just tried it on today and loved it. So I've had it on for the past few hours, but it's from Uniqlo. I'll have to show you when I'm not in the kitchen because you can barely see it, but there's pockets. I love a dress with pockets. I love it. They're big pockets too. And I love it. I think it's cute. I was going to get it in white because I just love like bright whites and neutrals, but I convinced myself to get blue because lately I've been, I don't know, I've been into blue lately. So so I'm now realizing that I probably should have paid more attention to the type of rice noodle I got. These are very, very thin. And, you know, probably meant to be in pho. <laughs> I'm getting ready right now to go grab some coffee and just walk around, maybe do some shopping with a friend of mine that I have not seen in so long. I don't even know the last time I saw her. I feel like it's been almost a year. It's been a while, so I'm very excited to see her. I'm curious if some of you actually follow her. Um, her handle is Mariana's Pantry. I believe it's the same on TikTok and Instagram. She posts super informative nutrition content and like yummy recipes and stuff, so if that's your thing, Definitely check her out. I think we're gonna go to Blank Street, get some, I think I'm gonna get a matcha. My favorite thing to get there, they have um, pistachio lattes and strawberries and cream lattes. I feel like it's echoing in here. Um, I get a matcha and I either add pistachio or the strawberries. I think the strawberries and cream is one pump of vanilla, one pump of strawberry. I used a new tinted, um, I used tinted sunscreen. I never used to wear face makeup. I just like, it, it broke me out in high school the first time I tried foundation and I just never tried it again because I was like traumatized from it. So I always just put like tinted moisturizer on if I want anything, but since my skin has been breaking out after getting off, like toward the end of being on my birth control and then getting off it, my skin has been breaking out. You guys know the journey I'm on and I know it's a long journey and I'm on my way. Like, it's fine, it's, it'll be resolved. It's temporary, it's okay. But I have been wanting a little bit of coverage because I it makes me so self-conscious and the one I've been using is the Ilia Skin Serum or something and I love it, but it's really oily. And I like, you guys know that I really am focusing on like what I'm eating and lifestyle and healing my hormones and trying to heal my skin from the inside out. I think that's like the most important thing for me because it is mostly internal from my hormones healing after being on birth control for 11 years. So that's mainly what I've been doing. But then I'm also like, you guys know I've been getting facials and chemical peels and trying to have some like medical grade stuff as well. And then I've really been trying to pay attention to what I'm putting on my skin. Like 
skincare is really important to me, but I don't think I've ever really paid too much attention to like the makeup I'm using. So I went on a deep dive researching pore clogging ingredients the other day and realized that that Ilia serum might not be the best thing for me. And then my favorite concealer by RMS has coconut oil in it, which is like very much a pore clogger. And like a lot of people can tolerate pore clogging ingredients. I'm sure that I can tolerate some of them too. But while I'm just really trying to be careful with my skin, I'm like, let's make it easy on myself and get rid of anything that might clog my pores. So I ordered some new things. This is the tinted sunscreen I used. It's already it looks so dirty. It has makeup all over it. Um, it's the Elta MD and I use their morning, their AM therapy moisturizer and I love it. So I figured I would like this too, but this is their uh, UV Elements SPF 44 tinted sunscreen and no pore clogging ingredients. And then I got two new concealers, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is like an OG. I feel like everyone loves this and has used this for forever and I've never tried it, but there's no pore clogging ingredients in it, which kind of surprised me. I've, I was on like a clean beauty, clean, skincare train for a while and I still am if I if I can find something that's clean and has no pore clogging ingredients it's like a win-win but I was just like reading about it the other day and it, I read this funny article I think it was on clear stem and it was like clean doesn't always mean like good for acne like organic coconut oil is just gonna give you organic pimples <laughs> and I was like fair you have a point so I got these. I got two shades, um, vanilla and Madeline. This might surprise you guys. I got a new, well, I did get the Pillow Talk still. Pillow Talk lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite. I've been using it for years. It's so good. But I saw this other one at Sephora the other day and I loved it. This is the color Super Size Me. I would say it's just like a little more has a little more color than Pillow Talk and it's a little darker. Wow, I'm really testing myself doing my makeup so far from the mirror today. I don't want to be out of frame. <laughs> this is so good. I love this. It's from In Beauty. I love their lip oils. I first tried them probably a year ago and I'm obsessed with them. This is their mystery glaze and it's um, like a pinky clear glaze but I think it has to do with the pH of your lips. I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> it like changes slightly on each person. So I mentioned a trick in I think my last vlog about how to put your hair half up, half up, half down. And instead of like grabbing here, grab under your ears and it just like looks so much nicer. I have another trick. Like these aren't really tricks. I feel like people probably already do these, but I always thought Cloth lips looked so bad on me when I was doing like, when I was going like low. But now I like do it pretty high up so that my hair is being like swooped up on the sides, you know? Okay, pull some of it out. Fun fact, I've had these Converse for, <laughs> I truly think 10 years. I got them in high school. I haven't grown since high school. Like I've had the same size feet <laughs> since high school. I think I was like a junior. So there you go. I've had these for so many years. Like maybe, maybe I've had this since I was a sophomore in high school. I don't know. I've had them for like at least 10, I think. I just got home to some packages, some things that I ordered, some PR packages. So I figured I'd go through them. I ordered another battery and a little charger for it for the camera that I'm currently filming on. I'm using the Sony ZV-1. 
I love it because it's so tiny and compact, but the battery life is really bad. So I need another one of these, especially for traveling. So I got a second one, which I've been meaning to do for so long. So I'm glad I finally got one. And then I have tried the, is the brand Hero those blemish patches? Because I don't like to wear makeup when I fly, but if I have like a blemish or something, especially now when my skin's all over the place, I just like don't like to rock it. Like I really want to cover it with something, especially so I don't touch it. So I got these specifically for traveling. I got some more stuff at Sephora. We went back to Sephora and I have been wanting new makeup brushes for so long. The ones I have, I don't even know how old they are. I've had them for so many years and I just felt like it was time to get some new ones and the Sephora collection is 30% off right now for their sale. So eh, I was like, why not get it during the sale? Ooh, glass skin face polisher. A luxurious rice-based enzyme powder that gently micro exfoliates skin to reveal glass skin. I have used two products from Dermalogica that are similar to this. They have like the daily milk foliant then another one i think i think there's two of them and i've tried both of them so i think this is a little i think this is kind of similar last one i have a feeling i know what this is and i'm so excited get ready for the big reveal these are so stunning dun, 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 dun. <laughs> ah! oh my gosh i love them okay so i did an event recently a um a little 5k with free people and hoka and they sent a little outfit from free people and then a pair of hoka sneakers and i love them but they were slightly too big and i thought it would be fine but then after i ran in them i just my feet were not supported at all and i felt so bad because i like couldn't send them back and like exchange them so i just reached out to them and i was like i don't want these to go to waste like if you or anyone on your team is this size they've only been worn once like I can come drop them off at the store if anyone wants them. And she was so nice and just told me to like give them to a friend and that they would send me my, my size that actually fits. So I'm gonna give them to my mom <laughs> and we can have matching sneakers, but these are them. They are the, let me see what the slip says. Okay, it says Hoka Carbon X3 pink slash rose. making some dinner right now. I just added some rice and then chopped up mango, bell pepper, and avocado to my plate. I air fried some salmon. I chop it into cubes and then I toss it in olive oil, Dijon, maple syrup, lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic, and Old Bay. I think that's it. It's so good. The maple Dijon flavor is the most delicious thing ever. I might have overcooked them a little bit. <laughs> I usually like them pretty crispy, but this is just a little more than I would typically do. And I air fry it at 375 for, I start with seven minutes and then I flip them and do another five or so minutes. That's it.